What is up, y'all? I am back with another video on my channel. NBA 2K21 Next Gen is officially here. I got y'all boys with the best build on the game. Like, listen, y'all, I've been looking at the builds for the past, like, 20, 30, 40 minutes. This shit has been taking forever, and I finally got the best build in NBA 2K21 Next Gen. If you guys don't have Next Gen yet, you can just save this video for later, for future reference, you know what I mean? But let's get straight into this build. This build is too tough, y'all. Builds are very, very hard this year. It's very hard to make a good build this year, but I'm gonna be showing you guys the best build that I've found. Like, I'm on this freaking Xbox, bro. This stupid Xbox, bro. I hate Xbox. I'm still on this just for y'all, boys, man, just for the content. So drop a sub and drop a like on the video, y'all. So first off, uh, I took a screenshot of my phone in the build, so I'm going to be looking down at my phone and, and, you know, copying everything. But it's a point guard, left-handed, right-handed, that is really up to y'all. That's really up to y'all, whatever you guys are feeling, whatever you guys want. Here's the first thing. You have to go 6-4 this year. 6-2, 6-3 are not the wave anymore, chat. They're not They're not the wave. Simple as that. They're not the wave. This this, this shit is, is ass, bro. I'm not going to lie, bro. It's not really like, I don't know. It's not really ideal. 6-2, six, 6-3. Uh, six, six, Some people are even making 6-6s. Six, 6-6, six, 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 in my opinion, is way, way, way too tall. And it makes you very slow. So do not make the 6-6 six, six builds, y'all. Go 6-4. Six, 6-4 four. Six, four is the perfect middle like it's in the middle and it's very very perfect y'all next up um let me let me go ahead and pull the screenshot up on my phone um next up it's gonna be 175 weight so lowest weight so you can be the quickest possible now here's the thing you know every year guards usually go the lowest wingspan you know you usually go lowest six four you don't go the highest you always go the lowest on the guard but this year it is different y'all chat listen it is different listen to me take it from ronnie 2k son first bro it is different this year listen chat go six what is it six ten yeah six ten Go 6'10 right here. You won't regret it. You have a, a high wingspan as a guard, and you do not lose any three-pointer. You only lose one three-pointer. It does not affect you at all. And then you can make it slight. It doesn't really matter. Um, but, yeah, let's keep going with this build. I, I, I got y'all, boys. Like, for real, I got y'all, boys. With the best build, man. I got y'all, boys. For real, man. So, first thing, uh, no close shot. The close shot is on zero. Driving layup, you're going to go up to 70. Um, just like that. And I'm going to explain the build after. I'm just going to put the stats on for you guys. Driving dunk is uh, max. So, 90. Or 95, let me see. 90, okay, so you're going to do 90. You don't want to go too high because you're not going to have enough upgrades available for the other things that you want. So you go 90, and then here you go 27. So you're going to have a total of two finishing badges. Finishing badges, I mean, listen, on this build, you need defense. You need defense in this game. So I, you know, sacrificed my finishing badges for some defensive badges. You feel me? You know what I mean, y'all? So, um, yeah, that's it right there. Moving on. We got a 93 mid-range. Uh, and keep in mind, y'all, we're gonna have boost, because boost is very cheap in this game, you can easily buy a boost, so 93 and 94, even without boost, bro, the three-pointer is literally insane, y'all, 94, and then, uh, free throw 64, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys, hold on, give me a sec, 64, like that, like that, okay, 18 shooting badges, now, from what I've seen, from what everyone has done, Shooting badges, you do not need that many, bro. Shooting is very, very easy next gen. That is probably the easiest I've ever seen in my entire lifetime, y'all. Shooting is not that necessary. It is not that important, y'all. So, therefore, you only need 18. You can get any badge hall of fame that you want. Shooting is literally a W. This is a W. You do not need over 18 shooting badges. You took it from Ronnie 2K Sun first, bro. You do not need it, bro. Moving on, we're gonna go to playmaking. So, playmaking is gonna be a 73. Hold on, let me just freaking, this freaking stupid Xbox controller, man. Why is it so stupid? Okay, then you're gonna go 90, and then you're gonna go 94. Um, 90, and then 94, why the frick is this taking so long, there it is, okay, 18 playmaking badges, L again, you do not need these excessive 22, 24 playmaking badges, you only need 18 to be, to, you know, to be good, to be good, and yeah, that's basically it, y'all, but listen, this is where the build is gonna come crazy, y'all, this is where, this is the turning point of the build, you're gonna be like, holy, holy shit, balls, holy shit, this is crazy, Listen, just just watch this, y'all. So listen, just just sit back, relax, and just watch what I do with this build to make this the most game-breaking, game-changing build in the game. No cap, yo. So you're gonna go 94, 50, 94. Then you're gonna go um 64 on the block, and then 57. Hold on, just 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 watch and learn, chat. Just watch and learn, bro. Simple as that. You're gonna go 57 right here. Frick. Oh my god, I went higher, man. Ronald. And then 80. There it is. Listen. 12 defensive badges on a guard with 6'10 wingspan. You're going to have the longest. You have the wingspan of a lockdown, but you're a guard. This is literally a lock guard build type of, you know, it's like a, 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 a lock guard type of build. You know what I mean? You have 12 defensive badges. This shit is literally crazy. It's the best build I have ever seen in 2K history. Like, for real, for real, this is literally the best build I've ever seen in 2K history. You have 12 defensive badges. You have contact dunks. You have contact dunks on this build, a 90 driving dunk. This build is actually crazy. Moving on, uh, you're going to make the speed a 93, and you're going to make the acceleration a 93. 
Frick, this is taking forever, man. All right, there it is. And then after that, you're going to go 70, and then you're going to go 91, just like that. Oh, frick. 91. Okay. And then, uh, if you want, you can use the rest on for, uh, stamina. doesn't matter. 94. Here's the build. 2, 18, 18, 12. 93 speed plus gym rat, 98 speed. Acceleration, 93. Vertical is a 70. So, listen, chat. This year, you need a 70 vertical to be able to, to get contact dunks. So, you need a 70 vertical. So, make sure you guys put your vertical up to 70 and stamina, 94. This is all you need. Um, This build is looking too tough. It's looking too tough. Too tough. It's looking so tough right now, y'all. 2, 18, 18, 12. Um, listen, here's where the takeovers come into play, okay? The takeover system is very, very cool this year, and I really love it. But listen, don't be fooled. Don't be fooled. There's like 20 different takeovers. Do not be fooled. Do not be fooled and go with this one. The limitless range one. This spot up shooter is if you maybe you're a sharp shooter or like a stretch big or something like that. First primary has to be limitless range. Limitless range for sure. Now secondary, here's where it gets interesting, y'all. No slashing. You don't need slashing because keep in mind you barely have any slashing badges. You don't need shot creating because shot creating already has to do with um with it, with shooting. Now, this is what makes my build crazy. The lockdown. The lockdown badge. A lockdown and sharp badge. This build is crazy. It's literally crazy. A lockdown and sharp um, badge. So listen, you have these different ones. You have extreme clamps. You have perimeter badge drop. And you have enhanced jump shot contests. Um, honestly, this one is up to you. Personally, I would low-key go into to extreme clamps. It makes you body bump them. It makes it... Frick, I thought I muted my mic, man. All right, it makes it very, very hard for them to get past you. Extreme clamps, here it is. Finish. Let's see what the build comes out to be. I don't know the name, what the name is going to be, but two-way shot creator. Yep, this is the build, the two-way shot creator of NBA 2K21 next gen. And yeah, let's go ahead and test this build. Let me show you guys the badges that you would be able to get. So freaking pick some 99 overall. Let's look at the stats really quick. You're going to have a 25 close shot, 70 driving layup, 90 driving dunk, 93 mid-range, 94 three-pointer, and you're going to have a 90 ball handle and a 94 speed of a ball. Keep in mind, you have max wingspan almost. You have like half, almost max wingspan. And um, 50 interior defense, 94. 94 perimeter defense. You have the defense of a lockdown on this build. And then um, this um, defensive rebound is an 80. You have an 80 defensive rebound on a guard. That is really crazy. Then moving on, you got a 93 speed, 93 acceleration, 70 vertical, and a 94 stamina. But listen, y'all, if you guys want a video on which badges are the best to put on and which were the most OP badges, because there's a lot of new crazy badges in this game, drop a like, drop a sub. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. This is the best build. Mark my words, I've been looking at builds all day. This is the best build as of right now. Now on NBA 2K21 next gen. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment if y'all boys are new. This build is really good. This build is a lockdown slash shooting slash playmaking build. This is the best build in the game. Hope y'all enjoy the rest of your day. We're going to be streaming every day on Twitch live. Twitch.tv slash Neon. I love y'all boys. Peace.